Mark Vaughn here with Colin Covington and Rens Georgia at the Tour Faction facility. Uh, today we are running uh, residual uh, recycled material, commonly referred to as uh, refuse derived fuel. Uh, it is about uh, probably around 40% paper and about 60% various plastics. Uh, these materials have some metals, uh, some light foils, and some other things in them. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them through our torrefaction unit here. What we're doing is we're adding them here in the center tube of the unit. And uh, the, the material is being fed directly into the hopper. It goes through the uh, rotary vein right here. And uh, you have that bottle that can show uh, that can collect some of the oil. You have that bottle. And uh, once the material is in, it is fed through the variable speed drive, of course, through the unit. Uh, we're feeding it about 8 seconds on, 8 seconds off, about 50 RPMs through the unit. Uh, we're making a tremendous amount of sin gas here. Uh, the unit is running very well now from that sin gas. As you can see, we've got a... Uh, thermal combustor on the top and there are absolutely no emissions at this time. Back over here is the sand gas unit. We're collecting uh, here all of our oils from our recycled plastics uh, from right here and uh, pulling them out of the sand gas train uh, before they go on in to be uh, thermally combusted. Can you uh, lower that bottle just a little bit so I can see it flowing? There we go. Very good, very good. Further on back here, Going down to the back of the unit, where the material is being produced at. Uh, here's the material that we're producing. This is actually, uh, the material is all, the paper is completely uh, torrified. It's black all the way through. The plastics are also uh, broken down and volatilized and uh, come back out in the sin gas train. And uh, if you will, will you bump it over for me real quick, please? Spray some material here. Spray it. Uh huh. Spray in the water. Here's the material coming out, and it is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! There we go. <laughs> That's as good as it gets, man. Woo! Yeah. I might want to use a glove now. Yeah, let me step back from that. Anyway, all the material is thoroughly, thoroughly torrified. Actually, it's torrified. Uh, we had to speed it up tremendously to get it uh, from uh, breaking down too far. But as you can see, it does a tremendous job. Even the foils and the metals, all the metals aren't harmed in this process. It doesn't do any fouling on the inside. They all just come out again, uh, the ferrous and non-ferrous metals. And of course, uh, we'd have to spray this material a little bit more. But anyway, it's very well torrified. Another piece of metal. Uh, and ready for going into uh, plastics, uh, for acids, for uh, for enzymatic or acid hydrolysis uh, transfer into sugars, and then on into ethanol. Actually, up here, uh, the plastics that we were recovering up top in our syngas streams can be taken on down further into synthetic diesels and uh, through... Uh, distillation or through uh, hydrocracking towers. Uh, I think that's about it. Mark Bond, Colin Covington, Renz, Georgia, and today is September the 30th, September 29th, 2011. Thank you.